Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. In today's video, we're just going to take a ride and talk about the upcoming 2024 and the things we have on the channel this year, such as the Rogue King Classic build and some trips. So let's take a ride. Let's talk about it. As for now, that is all. All right, guys, let's talk about it. 2024 and the things that we can expect on the channel coming up in 2024. I know I sent out a, I know I put out a short not too long ago about uh, the Road King Classic build. Uh, not so much going to call it a build as much as we're just going to make some upgrades to it. Very slightly change the looks of it. I've had it for a year now, and I know I. When I first got it, I had planned on using it for some touring and such as that, but, uh, and so I really didn't want to change a lot about it. I battled and battled, and uh, but I brought the Street Glide last year, and that's what I've been using for my touring and my long distance rides. So the Road King took a little different turn as to what it's going to be used mainly for just local rides and, and bike shows and things of that nature if we can get it. Uh, set up just right for that. Let's talk about the changes to the Road King. We'll get your opinions on some things and what's, what you would like to do. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, what I've decided to do with it. And uh, maybe you can give me some ideas, leave some comments. Uh, I appreciate the, the comments that you leave, good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever you want to say. Comment, give me some advice, and let me know how you feel. I appreciate that. Right now, I've got the Rope King down uh, at a buddy of mine's. We've been doing some, or he's been doing some brake work on it. It needed some attention uh, for sure on the brakes. I've also, I also went ahead and bought some Burley Slammer Shocks, just uh, temporary to see what it would look like, how it would feel to lower it a little bit. Uh, the intention is uh, eventually, hopefully at some point this year, we're going to put air ride on it. I've got the American suspension uh, air ride on my street glide and love it. And so I'm going to put that on the Road King also probably. So that's one of the things we're going to change about it. So over this year that I've had the Road King, I've been doing a lot of uh, studying on what I might want to do to it. and and how I might want to change it. I'm really not changing a whole lot of it, but basically what we're going to do is go for a, a Vikla or Cholo style uh, Road King. I don't know if it'll be a total Cholo or Vikla build, but it's going to be in that mode. I haven't really decided on the exhaust system yet. There's two different types I'm looking at. And, uh, one of them is the fishtail, of course, and then there's a different style there that I'm trying to choose from. Give me some ideas what you think there on the, uh, as far as the Cholo style, what you would, what you would do. And basically probably put a 21 inch front tire on with rim and spoked uh, it has the white walls some new floorboards front and passenger of course I'm gonna go for a saddleman and custom seat more than likely I'm going to go from the soft bags to paint matched hard bags on it so it's going to take a few changes on and it's going to look a little different but basically the same style i've already got the carlini design gangster apes which i love and then we'll change some more things as we go but that's kind of the idea looking forward to that i don't want to call it a build really but we're changing some looks of it and uh, just give me some ideas give me some comments what you think if you think that's a good idea tell me if you think I'm going to regret it or not by changing it. I worried about that all year long as I was looking at uh, 
changing the bike for sure because I really loved it like it was, but the more I had it, the more uh, when I wasn't going to use it for long distance rides, the more it changed, the purpose of it changed for me and I uh, fell in love with that style of bike and so that's where we're going with it. And the rest of 2024, well, I say the rest of 2024, I'm looking at it. surgery, first part of March, hopefully I can get it done. Uh, gonna be down a little bit, so be looking for some videos in the garage uh, with the Rogue King, and I really don't have a lot I'm gonna do with the Street Glide. Uh, I like it like it is, but there'll be, there'll be a few things, a couple of things that you always have to change something, don't you? But look for those videos in the garage because I'm gonna be down for a little bit. Like I said on the previous video, I also signed up for the the Grand Motorcycle Tour of Texas. And I'm looking forward to that, getting down there and seeing a lot of sights in Texas. So we'll be going along with that. Some great roads down there besides just the things that I'm gonna see. Of course, I'm gonna hit the Twisted Sisters and some other roads and the one road that I'm really looking forward to that I tried to get to last year was the River Road, uh, the Farm Market 170 down there along the Rio Grande. Looking forward to that. So those are things that I'm keeping in front of me as I go through this surgery and recovery time uh, to keep me motivated to get, uh, keep me motivated to recover quicker and to give it everything I've got to get back on my motorcycles. So looking forward to 2024 and appreciate you guys. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. Help me help vets as when this channel starts to make a little money as it's growing, whatever I'm making, I'm gonna be donating some to the veterans charities, especially dealing with veteran suicide. If you're new to the channel, that's what this channel is about. Uh, at some point, we're gonna give to some veterans. So I appreciate you watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one. As for now, that is all.